What's going on, people? Oh. What's up, Mario? We're blessed to be uh, able to uh, actually just wake up this morning and be on this side of the line. But uh, I feel blessed because, man, it's 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 been a good it's it's been a good everything so far. Like, I mean, everything. Um, we had uh, we had the uh. Oh, got the wrong ones on there, but, uh, we got, uh, last week we had the, uh, wheelie queen on and this week we got the wheelie king on what's up, Bill, Sam, um, uh, oh, yeah, I know, uh, uh, Jeff said he went to Iowa today and he was driving through all that stuff, but, uh, We'll go ahead and get this this guy on. What's going on? What's happening, everybody? Oh. Well, man. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't know where to begin. <laughs> man. Uh, we'll, we'll start right here. <laughs> Where in the hell did you get that at? We'll we'll start here. How can I can test this, people? Because how how can how can cute little 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 boys turn into ugly mofos when they get older? <laughs> you got that right, <laughs> man, man, man. That would be uh, slick. I don't know how he's getting a hold of this uh, material. Ah, uh, I'm a stalker. Yeah, uh, stalker. One of, one of my so-called buddies, right? <laughs> speaking of like uh, so <clears throat> you uh you uh where's it at where's it at i got it somewhere I got it somewhere you used to do uh the hill climb and stuff like that huh yeah that's me wow that 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 looks pretty scary i ain't gonna lie yeah, it's real, real, real dangerous. And the motocross and stuff. Yep. Man. Uh, and you was in the military as well. Yeah, I was in the Marine Corps. I was over in a. Mm. I was in Desert Storm. Got out right after that. Well, thanks for for your service. And you told me a you told me a story. I don't know if back when you know back when we used to hang out and I was up there and you we we did a little drive by and stuff and. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Do you remember what you told me? The, the drive by where? Over your old your parents' old house. Oh uh, yeah, I, I remember that story. Yep. Yeah, it's not real impressive. I think it. I think the way I mean, you, you just, can tell it, it's funny. I mean, I'm the kidding. way you presented it, it was. It, I, I was. I was almost hurting. I was dying laughing. <laughs> I mean, it's a true story. So, kind of like it's, movies. When they're a true story, they're better. He said uh, he got back in. What did you got back from deployment? And no, I, actually, I think that was uh, that was when I got back from boot camp. So I had been gone for like three months. And uh, you said you got it. We went out on the town, and time went off, and your buddies dropped you off at the house and at your parents' house, and and it wasn't your parents' house no more. Nope, my parents had moved. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like shit face drunk 18 years old and my buddy who had i think he'd met my dad before he was like helping me into the house right the front door was unlocked and some dude comes out of the bedroom back there like what the fuck are you doing in my house and my buddy's like it's your son he's drunk i'm just trying to get him to bed and uh finally my buddy got the point that you know that wasn't my dad and that wasn't my parents house so we left when did uh, did he re- when did he realize that was it when the uh, the guns came out or something? No, I don't, I don't. I don't. Honestly, I don't think any guns came out. I think the guy was just scared. But I mean, I was tore up, so I don't remember none of it. To be honest, not to mention that was shit. Thirty five years ago. That's a long time ago. Damn. Damn, you're an old man. 
Hey, I used to drive by that house all the time after that when I got out of the Marine Corps. I bet I drove by there 10 times wanting to stop in there and apologize. And then finally, like on the 11th time I did. And they're like, oh, that was you? <laughs> yeah, it's not impressive, I know, but pretty funny story. That's that's good stuff. I don't care who you are. That that, And because we rode around uh, when I went up there for uh, War in the Woods, uh, we, we hung out uh for uh, what two or three days yeah yeah and uh and uh you told me some stories and sent me to some uh guy shops and stuff and it was a good time yeah as uh so mm, i ain't gonna lie you look kind of sexy right here <laughs> that's me sleeping <laughs> you look are you getting a pedicure yeah, well, I think I already got one, and I was probably waiting on my girlfriend to get her nails done or something, sleeping. I ain't gonna lie. I get mine done at least once every three weeks. I ain't bending over to clip them toenails. Hell no. And plus a little Asian woman rubbing on your leg. Oh, yeah. There ain't mm. nothing wrong with that. Oh, hush your mouth. <laughs> ah. So, is that all you, when you was in the military, that, uh, did you just go over to, uh, where was that? Where's the storm at? Was that uh, Afghanistan? Yeah, Iraq. Afghan Iraq. Both. Yeah. No, I went a lot of places when I, I mean, uh, on the way over there, on the way back, I went a lot of places. I went to Hawaii, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, uh, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, oh. a couple other uh, of them places over there. I don't even remember the names of them, but we, we stopped. I stopped quite a few places. Oh, it's a lot of fun. He ain't drunk yet. He ain't drunk yet. Nah, I ain't, I ain't drinking. Oh. Uh, what was the coolest place? You When you went to uh, Singapore or Thailand or whatever, you didn't get that basket trick, did you? No. Uh, the Philippines is my favorite. I mean, oh, yeah? you don't want to turn no 18-year-olds loose in the Philippines. They don't ever want to leave. Did you check before you... Uh, did you check for a package before you... Uh, yeah. Did- <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll tell you a funny story about that. So one of my buddies I was in the Marine Corps with, he had been to the Philippines before. We get there and he's, I said, Hey, how much money you usually take out for a night of partying out here? Right. And he's like, Oh dude, most people don't even take $10. You know what I mean? Like at the time, I think the exchange rate was like 38 pesos to a dollar. But this buddy, I used to party with him all the time. He's like, me and you need to take a hundred, 150. So we get off the ship and go over there to the exchange window. And I think I gave him 150, if I remember right. It was more paper money than I could fit in my two front pockets. Wow. <laughs> and at the time when I was over there, uh, a San Miguel beer was 32 cents. That's what a beer cost out in the bars in, in Subic Bay, the Philippines. And uh, it was wild, bud. I mean, wild. You've seen some stuff that... that- you probably can't even talk about, huh? Oh, yeah. Not on here. I can't talk about that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I come up there, you can tell me. Yeah, I'll tell you some stories. stories. Oh, Be some good time killers. Ah, uh, so, uh, you, uh, what can we go to here? Look at this guy right here. <laughs> I don't even, that, I don't even know how that, where that, that picture was in can, or in, uh, what's it called? Uh, What's that other place in Mexico? Cabo San Lucas, I think. Hell, I, I don't know. know. You look a little better there. I you think somebody, I think that's a filter or something. I don't even know how to do that. Somebody else put that on there. Oh, well, that might be Photoshop, but it, it kind of makes you look a little bit better. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to disagree with you. You're all clean shaven, top to bottom. Yeah, I look better there. Yeah. I'm rough looking right now. Ain't yeah, I? You got all that chrome showing. Yeah, I know. That's what I call it, chrome, people. Chrome. Chrome sounds better than gray, don't it? Yeah. That's what yeah. people people don't understand that. Uh so you you did the uh, when did you get into the motocross and the hill climbing and stuff? I raced my first race in nineteen seventy seven. Wow. People there's some people on here that ain't even that old yep. watching this. My dad worked with a guy that hill climbed motorcycles and my dad went to watch a race. And by the next weekend, we all had dirt bikes and the following year started racing. And then 
The only time I didn't race in my life was the four years I was in the Marine Corps. So, you know what I mean? Basically from the time, you know, in, in, in 77, I was eight years old. So besides yeah. them four years, I've raced something or another every, ever since, you know? So you, uh, you went to motocross and you went to the hill climb or. Well, we started, no, kind of started the hill climbing first, but I used to race the grand national cross countries, outdoor motocross. I mean, I've raced, uh, I've raced all of it, flat track. I've done, I raced just about everything motorcycle wise. We're really into the woods racing there for a while, which is, was, you know, it's pretty cool. Like them grand national back then they were three hours long, you know, three hours straight. I mean, you yeah. got in shape. It was brutal, but, uh, yeah, we did all kinds of stuff. You know, we did all kinds of motorcycle racing and then. You know, I, I really only got into drag racing, what, probably six or seven years ago. A buddy of mine uh, called me. I was working on the road and said, hey, why don't you fly down to Memphis, come down there to this radio race. Like that one, uh, that, what's it called? I don't even remember what it's called. That guy, Tyler Crossno, puts it on. You know who I'm talking about? No. He's a, uh, I don't know. Anyway, Some I didn't know about it. Some promoter yeah, or something. I, I, yeah, I didn't know shit about it. I just, I really just went down there to see my buddy, and I was like, "Man, this is pretty cool." And, and uh, so, you know, they had some little radio racing around here, like up at Muncie and stuff. And I kind of did that just to, just barely getting my feet wet. And then immediately, I was like, "Time to go street racing, no prep racing. This, this class racing stuff ain't for me at all." Was it OSCR? Uh, I think I went to one OSCA race. They used to have just a, like a small tire prepped race or something, but you know, I didn't... street car reunion. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's what, that's what that race was in Memphis. Yep. Yep. Yeah. What's the, uh, I mean, look at this. Is that, that looks like it's straight up and down straight up cliff. Yep. See them ropes hanging off the side. Uh -huh. the, 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 there's guys that are tied off up there and they got big steel hooks to grab the bike when it falls back down. It's like 90 foot straight up cliff right there. God dang. Yeah. It's Man. Man, you must, there's some, there's some stuff that I remember I, I raced in Europe and, uh, over in Europe, I, I went to, it was up in the, up by the, uh, black forest in Germany, but in France, and we got there and I'm like, you got to be kidding me, man. No motorcycles going up this. I mean, I've been climbing shit for ever, right? You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. that was insane. Bol boulders and stuff as big as trucks, full-size trucks. Stri I mean, up in the mountains. And, uh, you know, you'd be surprised what them bikes can go go over. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, that, all my bikes there ran on 100% nitromethane injected on 100 percent nitro so and it looked like it looked like you put that into perspective that looks like a street race nowadays with all the people standing there yeah. <laughs> just, just saying just saying people i heard that i was bummed man i couldn't didn't make it to the pad but uh i heard there was a big turnout down there huh oh yeah yeah we had the 30 cars down there and i had to leave within the uh the semifinals and then i had made the nine hour hike, hike back to uh austin and then they had 30 cars there as well so we made a full weekend you know, you know yeah. typical 40 hours no sleep or actually 42 hours of no sleep and we had a blast man we had a You're blast wild. we had a blast oh that's that's awesome to race down there i'm sure i'm sure that uh the austin race was awesome too they did water burnout on the street on the street on the street that's gangster and they were hey they were, i wish they, they were rolling. To, i wish they'd go to water burnout everywhere i really do yeah they uh they uh well it was concrete uh you know glue glue works for some spots and and water works for i mean water will come around on the asphalt road eventually but it's going to take it a few yeah but uh yeah they were on a good concrete road and there was a they were they were rolling of course they were on they were on 29 fives on them big tires on a midwest midwest small tire yeah <laughs> they yeah. were on 28s in uh new orleans yeah, yeah. it was on 28s yep yeah. oh 
Heck, that that the the pad down there, that thing's like a track too, though. Yeah, it was. It's uh, they were rolling. They were rolling. Todd was rolling. I mean, everybody was rolling. Uh, yeah. Um, Billy and them had that had the Falcon figured out. Speaking of, how's your Falcon coming out? Oh, it's getting all kinds of goodies. It's it's in mo- full motion right now. Yeah. So we'll see. And are you still going to, it has a hairdryer on it, don't it? Yeah. I'm embarrassed to say it, but yeah. Oh boy. Well, you ain't got no hair to dry. <laughs> I actually got a little bit. I, thought, I know. I, I know. Look at me. I haven't shaved in like three days. I ain't going to lie. That's just being lazy. <laughs> I said, I, I bet, I bet you Jeff's got about a, a, a noon shadow or five o'clock or maybe even 10 o'clock shadow. So I ain't going to do it. I'm going to yeah. do him some justice. <laughs> well, I uh, that. Uh, so you, uh, you did the motocross thing and then you got into the, to the steroids, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what I, you know, the, here's the story on that. I'm way past that stage in my life now. I mean, I'm still <laughs> going to the gym just to, try and feel better but uh damn you were cut though brother well I, you know what it was i got real into that and i was going to the gym seven days a week and i always told people i'm like it'd be like playing on a football team but never playing a game you know what i mean i mean i was literally going to the gym seven days a week for three years and i was like when i was 45 i was like i'm gonna do a bodybuilding show one time i want to play the game once you know what i mean now and trust me i'd never do it again it was that's a that's some brutal shit to do right there you know what i mean but uh but you know generally when i want to do something i do it even if it was and it was horribly painful you know the diet sucked but shoot that was seven years ago already now you know well believe it or not you and i have a lot in common oh yeah i mean i mean for real uh i used i started out i i did uh the motorcycle stuff i got in three wheelers and four wheelers I uh, did motocross. I did cross country stuff. Got uh, got out of that. Got in the cars, and then. But uh, in high school, I did. Uh, I didn't do bodybuilding, but I did powerlifting. Mm-hmm. And uh, just so, so I mean, motor motorbikes, uh, lifting weights, and cars. Yep. Look at this. Look at this. We're two on. peas in a pod. We could be twins, man. We could, <laughs> I ain't what? nowhere as good looking as you are, Limpy. Ow, oh, cuss your mouth. You're trying to just <laughs> butter me up or something. <laughs> hey, I like, I, you know what? It's a, that's a perfect evolution. I, I love the motorcycles. I had a lot of fun. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I did that professionally and made a living off that for, you know, seven or eight years and, uh, you know, traveled every, everywhere. Right. I mean, I'd be racing in, Cal- in, up in northern california one weekend and new york the next weekend you know all over the place yeah. and it was a lot of fun but uh man i did get kind of burned on that though you know i still i'm not afraid to drive to go racing still but you know it got old you know what 17 18 years of you know you were constant i mean you know better than anybody but well you know, it's, I, it's a it's a beating on your it's a beating on your body too other than you know, I mean, doing the motocross stuff, it's a beating on your body, no. uh, and not only mentally, but physically. Yeah. And, uh, as you get older, that's why I don't fight as much as I used to. Cause recovery time is like tripled at our age. Same thing with drinking. I don't hardly drink at all anymore because you go tie one good one on. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm, I'll tell you why. Cause I'm a sissy. It takes three days to recover. I ain't good at it no more. Oh. <sighs> Heck, I'd probably still be hung over if I met up with you guys at PRI. Luckily, I well, got COVID. Well, I know. I was, I was going to say, Jeff. Jeff's usually a good host, and when you're you're hanging out with him and stuff, and we went to we went to uh, some establishments, <laughs> and Jeff was going to meet us, and then oh, he he blew us off. Jeff blew us off because he was like, "I got COVID." Oh got man, COVID. I. I had a hundred and four and a half degree temperature. I was sick. Bleed. Trust me. Uh, oh, Dylan wants to know: You ever race at Loretta's? Yeah. Uh, Amateur motocross championships. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they said they're ready for War in the Woods already. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be epic as it as the last one. I don't know. The last one was pretty. That was pretty. Last, last one was awesome. Um, Do you order cups? Make sure you, you get cups right now. Man, I'm. Telling Are you going to put them in storage? I'm glad you just said that. I probably really should look into that right now, the way the world is. You're right. But to answer your question, I think, honestly, um, I think it's going to be a lot bigger. You know, I know Billy Hoskinson, SRC, him and Tommy, they did an awesome video. They plugged the race a lot. And uh, you know what I mean? Uh, I think that'll probably have a pretty big effect on the race, which I appreciate them doing that, you know. Uh, and everybody loves the race. I, I don't. You know, I mean, I don't know what it is. It's just the atmosphere down there. It's just awesome. It's man, it's um, it's it's, it's yeah, it's it's a different it's a different animal, and mm-hmm. it's sketchy, and that's what sketchy brings out the weird weird people. Yeah. You know, they uh they don't like to lift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they let them hang. So 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 you go from shrinking your balls. To blowing them up, huh? That you, know, that I just, I've always been like that. That ain't, I don't know. That that you know what? You know one thing. You were saying how dangerous that motorcycle stuff looks like. Drag cars are crazy, insanely safe looking to me after the shit I used to do. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. um, you know, surrounded by that big cage and everything. But you know, you know, you say that at War in the Woods, but you ever notice? Like me and you talked about this once before. There's a lot of good race in there. There's a lot of Excellent. close racing there. You know, I, 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 I think that's another reason uh, fans love it so much. They, you know, you got X percentage of your crowd there are hardcore racing fans. They like watching good close racing, and there's plenty of that. Yeah. Did, uh, well, I know you, uh, uh, where was it at? Where did I got it? You met this guy. At the, at the at the races, that's the guy that, for people that don't know, that's the guy that that announces out there the the war in the woods. Jamie Deer. Yeah, he's a uh, he's pretty wild on the mic, but he's good. I mean, have uh, you have you heard a better announcer in an event? Honestly, no, no, he's 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 top notch. Yeah, he's awesome. He's always he's always pretty good. Barrett's pretty good too. Buddy of mine that does it uh down here. That's yeah. that's what he does. Uh so uh, how often how often do you get Because uh, I people, I'm a uh I'm a, I'm guilty of this. How often do your uh your brother get mistaken for you <laughs> a lot <laughs> i think it's i think it's gotten better but my brother's name's jeremy for anybody doesn't know which he's he helps me out a lot and stuff he's a good dude he uh he told us he's if you know my brother my brother is what's that what's the word he don't say a lot kind of a real straight face you know what I, you know what i'm saying he, he don't say a whole lot but uh he was telling us one time, it happens all the time, but there's been several times when somebody was talking to him at the races <clears throat> for like 30 minutes and the whole time they thought they were talking to me. And he just lets them go on along with it. You know what I mean? And, uh, but yeah, that does happen a lot. Oh, he's on here. Oh, uh, there's old Mork. There's a, uh, I heard there was a, there was a, there was a, uh, um, uh, you was telling somebody that, that Mark beat you by this much. Is that's that true? not true. Is that true? That's who was what... I talking to? Who was that? Oh, that's, uh, that's Jake Boswell. Right? Yeah. Yeah. He told me that, that you told him that Mark only beat you by that much. <laughs> hey, sometimes you think it's closer than it was, you know, like a half a car could be a car car could be a car and a half. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it, you know, that six inches, you know, you know yeah yeah what really is six inches right (laughs) yeah (laughs) it's a it's a 10 millimeter yeah uh so um you and you and mark 
you have a y'all have a, a, a long lasting relationship. You he got a sticker that you had to put on the back of your car. Y'all raced for a sticker or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm man of my word. I put it on there. He handed it to me, and I put it on there. Thirty seconds later. Oh boy, man. Speaking of, of somebody, was it? Oh Fury. That 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 guy right there. Uh, Tabor. <laughs> That's my boy. Oh. Wow. He gave, gave him a special pill. I believe that. I believe that. <laughs> I believe that. I ain't gonna lie. I don't I don't I don't I don't, I don't take no pills around Jeff because you, you never know when you're going to look like this. <laughs> I don't look like that no more, though. You ain't far from it. You ain't yeah. far from it. Yeah, you I'm pretty far from that. Yeah, you are. Uh, so, uh, the uh, the shock business is doing pretty good. Yeah, doing, doing I mean, real look, you got, you got truck and trailer. You, you're traveling everywhere now. Look at that. No, that's my old one. That's what I use racing motorcycles. I know, I know. I'd like to have that still. I wish I wouldn't have sold it now. Oh, uh oh. There's old did, Avery. Avery, did you did you like that little uh little montage deal that I made when Jeff was looking down at you? Did uh, I did that on purpose just because you know, <laughs> you know just you know, it is what it is. I guess I could find it. I guess I could find it. I don't think I've seen that. The little, the little deal, the little, what did I do with it? Uh, let me find it. Oh man. So the, the, uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Where'd it go? There we go. Oh, there we go. This one right here. Let me save it. Uh, did, uh, at the, uh, at the track done, uh, here it is right here. It's uploading right now. This right here. See, you're oh, back there. I, I, I didn't, re yeah, I saw that. I didn't realize you, how you, <laughs> you look, you looking down on Avery. Look at that. <laughs> Cause he talks a smack. He talks a smack to you. He said he, uh, he, a turbo car out 60 foot of the mattress car. Yeah, I think he bumped his head on that one, but wow, that's pretty good. Though. That's, that's that's pretty good Photoshop skills. Look at that. Other than I couldn't crop the uh, the the photo out from the SRC people. Hey, hey well, Avery sent it there though. That I was proud of him. He did. I mean, luckily got out of it because he was heading straight to the wall or to the uh, guardrail. Yeah, he was going to land right on top of the guardrail. And then people. Man, no, when people stupid out there, I ain't gonna lie. People, we, we gotta you know, address that for the next race. I, I, and the reason, I mean, I don't want to see anybody get hurt, but I mean, I don't. First off, I don't want to see anybody get hurt. Second off, I don't want to see the race come to an end because somebody gets hurt. Yeah. You know, I mean, but, I mean, on that, on that, that wheelie that you did, uh, where did I put it? Um, uh, dang, I lost it. I lost it. Oh, this Willie. I mean, that was a two for Willie because you come down and then you come back up and then you're basically off, off four tires. But I mean, you didn't come down to what? 300 feet or so. Yeah, probably. And people were lined up almost to four or 500 feet all the way down that guardrail. Yeah. You seen them run when it came down off that wheeling wheelie over there. Yeah. And I told Billy, I said, man, we need, before all that's happened, I said, man, we need to get these people back. He's like, man, I, they're hard to police. I said, so I'll try to make them all back, but they just, you know how they just, they'll back up and then they'll just keep, they'll just mosey on forward. And I mean, I don't know how many times I w walked 400 feet down the track that night yelling at people, but they just keep coming back up there. You got to have a permanent way to keep them off there. Obviously, you know, Yeah, those poor shock towers. Yeah, tell me about it, Jasper. <clears throat> which was which was odd, uh, because y'all run y'all run a tiny tire up there, a uh, small tire, twenty eights, <laughs> and you wanted to enter big tire. So, the night before, you uh, 
you were cutting your front your uh we went over to uh patrick's shop and you got a little measurements and yeah and then you started got the grinding wheel or the cutting wheel off on the uh on tray style there yeah probably wasn't the best idea i ever had but 29 spit on it now <laughs> Oh man, man. And you pull it up. You're like, what do you think? I said, I wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. <laughs> That's just me. I wouldn't do it. Uh, I know. And you're like, oh, we're already here. We already got in here. We already got taped off. So we're good. And I'm like, go ahead. Let me film this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but you had a little burr. You had a little burr on one of them that, that got you, uh, got a tire didn't it or yeah it did get the tire but it it uh it tore the car up worse on friday night and big tire than it did saturday on that big wheelie so you mean you mean small tires 29s yeah on them small on them uh, midwest small tires that get <laughs> tore it up i could that's why i couldn't make it the second round but even if i could have made the second round it ruined one of them tires so yeah one little piece i missed in there and it dug into the tire must have so Avery said jeff sucker me into buy them buying them struts first race he made me buy them struts and from the carnage <laughs> what a sucker oh shit avery's a good kid he knows he needs them struts yeah yeah oh uh oh oh how grid racing's in the house TRS to the motherfucking front. Thank you, Josh. Oh. Yeah, the shock business has been awesome, man. I appreciate every one of them. People. I don't really advertise. I haven't even made a Facebook page yet. I mean, I've been so busy. And uh, I, mean, we, I shipped 28 sets of shocks last week, just last week. So, I mean, I've really been that busy that I haven't even had time. Plus, I'm trying to uh, get my 57 Chevy truck. Remember that, Limpy? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I got the chassis back from powder coat and we're finally send one on that right now, trying to tie some loose ends up and getting ready to freshen the motor in the Mustang. Just got 10 boxes in the mail today. All Holly parts for furious styles and the Falcon. I was about to say, do you miss furious? Oh man. If you only knew. I, lo I love that car. <laughs> I, I like my Mustang too, but you know, I don't know. My, my Mustang just has, uh, has, I haven't had as good a luck with it as I did with the Nova. That's for sure. It's, it's what my ass. Now I know you, uh, you were doing good with it. And then you came down to, uh, a real street down in Oklahoma. <laughs> and, and you let it eat. Yeah, I guess. Hey, I thought we were in, we were, we were right in there in Oklahoma, I felt like. and But, man, you know, like you just saying, that's one reason why I like water burnouts. I feel like that was a big part of the problem. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you watch eight cars in a row hang the hoops, and then the ninth car knock the tires off. That was because of prep being too close to the starting line. I mean, that shit was three inches thick, gooey. You know what I mean? And, and oh. uh that's the problem with everybody using different different stuff. So I mean, yeah, it's 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 bad. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, that was a bad deal. Uh, that's when I first met you. Was uh, I think that was when I first met you out there, wasn't it? Or was it the weekend before? I think I met you somewhere the weekend before, and then you said that you were going out there. Yeah, where were we? I can't remember before that. I can't uh. Remember. Well, I had, I, I had obviously, uh, I knew you before that because me and you'd already made a deal for you to come to war in the woods. Remember? Yeah. And I couldn't remember, uh, God dang, it sucks getting old people. Y'all don't do it. Don't get old. Don't get old. <laughs> I don't know where, I don't remember where, let me think here for a second where we might've been at. Let's think. Uh, we street raced a lot that year, a lot. I mean, you know, which is crazy how year to year that changes. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't remember where we would have been at, but yeah, shit happens, man. 
Yeah, man. You know, you know, um, is a uh, um, you got some more horsepower? You gonna be doing? <laughs> you gonna add into the add to? Hey, my girlfriend posted that picture on Facebook once, right? And then mm-hmm. everybody commented on there. I was like, that poor oh. horse and stuff. You know. <laughs> Maybe that poor horse right there. You look yeah. like you look like you're just hanging on with your legs. Uh, them horses are no joke, bud. They'll they'll bust your ass just like a motorcycle will. Well, that's what I believe it or not. See, this is how we got so much in common, dude. Back before the 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 motorcycles and stuff, I used we used to do uh, I used to do play days and roping and and no kidding. Yep, yeah, and we played cowboy polo it's not it, it's different people from english polo you see the people riding around <laughs> it's cowboy, I don't polo. You doing that. cowboy polo is different than 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 you'd hit them little polo. yeah you hitting a little we had the big old heavy them big old heavy uh rubber balls that they put on power lines yeah that's what that's kind of ball we hit them big heavy suckers it's oh, like hitting wow. them it's like hitting a medicine bag with your mallet yeah it was tough. It was tough now. Uh, so we got some horsepower, more horsepower going to Trey Styles. Um, but uh, you must really, Jamie must really like you because you're giving him a haircut. Yep. That was a while back. I know. Well, I, that guy ain't wired right if he... If he lets you cut his hair, does he, has he seen your hairstyle? Yeah, he's not wired right. I, on Christmas, uh, I met him at the casino Christmas night, went out there and had a couple beers and me and him gambled till six in the morning out there. He's, he's hilarious. Funny wow. Dude. Man. I bet you some of the stories that, that he told me some stories when we were getting set up, when we were getting set up and Jeff, you wild, man. Yeah, both wild. Y'all both I wild. used to be real wild. I've calmed down a lot, a whole well, lot. That's what happens with age when you get chrome in your in your face and hair. Yeah, when it's all chrome, basically. Yeah. Um. Uh, oh, Jamie's an awesome guy, though. I mean, yeah. you just you won't meet anybody that's cooler than him. Or that dude's always happy. I don't. I've never ever seen him even remotely upset. You know, I know, uh, I know last year, uh, at, at Warden Woods, uh, by the end of it, because we, it was by the end of it, it was, it was, it was late, late in the morning, early in the morning, or however you want to call it, late, late early, whatever. But yeah, uh, I know, he, I don't know how much that bottle they polished off. <laughs> yeah, and I think they were getting after it pretty good. Him and Billy. Yeah. Yeah. And and they were up there on the on the uh the uh DJ booth. And I, I thought I thought in between rounds they were, I thought we we're gonna have two turntables and a and a microphone going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was I, I was noticing it, trust me. They were uh I don't know if they got into the uh the bottle the 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 beer the beer the beer keg first and then finish it up with a bottle i think they just they went straight to the bottle wow yeah it's tough them boys tough yeah four well, was, it was chilly it was chilly out there so i guess that they were keeping warm yeah I, I think by the end of the night uh jamie didn't even have a shirt on <laughs> yeah yeah he, uh, oh man I'll tell you what, Jamie was worn out, buddy. Yeah. I think we were all worn out. Yeah. I think he was worn out from climbing up and down that, that scaffolding. Yeah. Well, you know, the if you think about it, I don't know if I think I told you this once. I mean, I don't like the race lasting that long. That's not good for spectators. That ain't good business in the promoting world. You know what I mean? That's obviously not intentional, but... You figure the two wrecks that happened down there, unfortunately, set it back every bit of two hours. Yeah. You know, and I feel like if the race gets over by, say, 1 a.m., that's 
that's livable with, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, that's not too bad, but you know, when it's three thirty, four in the morning, you know, you're, and you know, spectators pay to get in there. They want to see who wins, you know? Yeah. And you know, it, that track out there is, is known. I ain't going to talk bad about it, but it's known to, to have at least it's, it's used, it's going to get one car. Yeah, it's going, get, it's going to get one car because one guy's going to try to out out drive himself, and it just takes a little, just a little bit to get on the edge, and then it'll 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 say nope, not today, yep. not today. Well, you know what it is, Limpy. It's it, this is what it is. I'm sure that 98 percent of the guys racing down there, like at the last event, they're all probably telling themselves, "Hey, if I feel like I'm heading into that grass." I'm aborting the run. I'm lifting. You know what I mean? My, myself included, right? You're down there at 500 foot mark on the track in a close race in the third round. That shit goes right out the window. That's what happens. I mean, they're not, I, I mean, I don't know, you know, do it. Could you technically say somebody overdrove? Yes. Because at that race, if you go into the grass in the middle past half track, shit, that track's going to chew you up and spit you out you know and well that's the competitive yeah. nature in you and everybody that that races everybody wants to win it's yeah. you know and unfortunately there the consequences i think are a little more severe than they are at a lot of places yeah i mean but man it's a blast it's a blast out there yeah i mean the atmosphere the the uh pretty much the camaraderie of all the racers i know i know when people because it's kind of parking's kind of bad so drivers if you're going to be there you better get there early so you can get a down down low parking just saying just saying yeah. uh because it gets it gets kind of jam-packed in there so be yeah i mean that's the, that's the one trade-off with the event i mean i don't think you're gonna outdo the the facility in the the atmosphere that's there the track i mean it's just badass but it is kind of it is kind of small and we try to get everybody parked and some people got to be on top of the hill and they're mad about you know it's the same old shit you deal with at every race you do the best you can do with with it and that's just how it's going to be you know what i mean i i don't understand that because you know as people always are making fun of me because a lot of times i'm late to races i ain't the guy that rolls in there four hours early you know well, that means sometimes I probably got to park out in the middle of nowhere, right? Uh, yeah. I don't come up there bitching about it. I got there when I got there, and that's where I got. That's what was left to park. That's where I'm parked. You know. Um, kind of like, like when you was out there at uh, at North Carolina, was it the year before last, or yeah, yeah. last year? You got there because they told nobody to go out there early, and by the time you got out there, they were like, "We're we're waiting on you," and you're like, "Yeah, I, I got." It. I just got here. Yeah. <laughs> Which I told, I did say something to Clifton at the street race this year out there, you know, and he's like, bro, I promise that won't happen again. I said, I mean, I ain't bitching. I just, you know what I mean? It's, it's hard to, you know, it sucks to drive 12 hours to a race and never even get a look at the starting line before you go up for first round. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of hard to, but Hey, that's a wild race out there too. Now, <laughs> man, Man, you uh, you burn some hair, uh, some hairs off people's legs out there. Yeah, I mean, you know what? It's, a, it's just a shame, Lumpy. That's what I said. I, I've had a bad year racing. The car has been phenomenal one hit, and a pile of shit the next one. You know what I mean? I mean, it did the same thing at War in the Woods. I mean, I out there at the street race in North Carolina, first round, it made a lick. You know what I mean? And and then uh, yeah, I just I just struggled, but that's got to be top two or three narrowest roads you'll ever race on i mean you got about a six inch margin of error there right yeah that's kind of like that road in the we go to in cali called the foo yeah i kind of don't even want to stand in the middle out there with them guys because when i bang the light as soon as i bang they take off i'm, I'm running forward yeah hey clifton uh, ain't no little dude and he's staying in the middle there i know he's tough i ain't he, he's young <laughs> he he never been hit by a car like i have oh you've been hit before no i've been hip checked before oh shit it ain't it ain't fun but 
you know, that they, they put a big old dent. I almost told the car that hip checked me. Dang. Uh, no, nah, not really, but you know, <laughs> I just, I just sound tough. <laughs> sound good. Uh, uh, so, uh, you've been all over this year, uh, the streets and stuff. What's your, what's your favorite? And don't say Ohio. Don't say Ohio. My, my favorite street. Oh shit, man. We just haven't done that much street racing this year, but, uh, it's cause you, know, you got locked up, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to go, hard to go street racing when your cars <laughs> and em, your race cars in impound. <laughs> uh, uh, I liked, uh, I mean, I like that street race in North Carolina. I mean, that one's crazy too. That's, that's as bad. That's worse than the pad even for parking. You know what I mean? You can't even, you can't move out there, but dude, I, I'd rather race on the streets all the time. You know, uh, it's just, but on the other hand, I'm not even going to lie to you. Sometimes rolling into, I thought dig or die had a couple awesome events. Really? I mean, I heard, you know, I've heard people be like, God, that event runs like shit i thought it ran really really good you know i I thought they did awesome i mean of course it's awful nice having them huge staging lanes and no room you know no problem with room and you know it pretty much runs itself but uh it's kind of nice to roll into one of them races knowing you don't have to load and unload five times because you're on the street you know what i mean it's almost like a nice break you know what i mean to go somewhere and be able to ride your golf cart around and you know, but, um, I mean, some we raced are, over in St. Louis are, on the street. Some people are saying Columbus, that's your favorite spot. No, nah, that's where they got my shit. Yeah. Everybody was saying St. Louis, St. Louis, St. Louis. Was it that good road in St. Louis? We ended up there. The, the final four was either spot four, me and four other cars, I think left. And we ended up at the good road. The divided, the two lanes divided yep. by the, yeah, 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 man, I love that road. I ain't been there since, I ain't been there in like 12 years, but I still remember it. A, a road, if a road, if you ain't been to it in 12 years, put a mark on your head, you know, it's a good road. You can go fast, real, real fast there. Oh, it yeah. over went real, real, real fast there. Uh, but we raced actually uh, in St. Louis this time. The first two spots we went to were bare roads, bare cold out um that was good racing they had a big uh pretty good i don't remember what it was 22 cars maybe something like that it's over a little over 20 st louis is an awesome place to street race them guys the guys uh, do a good job over there um like i said man it's it just hasn't been that much street racing around here this year you know you you know the year before during the covid stuff man that we were racing down in Kentucky, Ohio, big street races. And, and, uh, it just kind of dried up this year. Yeah. But get your, uh, uh, I'll get your, uh, take on, uh, uh, your, the Kentucky deal. What was your, your think on that? Oh, I mean, I'm happy. I mean, it was fucking crazy is what it was. You know what I mean? I mean, me, you know me, I'll race on anything. I don't care. And I, I'm going to be the last person. I'm not going to complain about it either. Cause I'm a big firm believer in everybody's got to race it. It's the same thing for everybody. You know what I mean? Uh, and I mean, that was, I mean, it was crazy. I mean, you've seen that what, after we split the pot, I, we went ahead and raced again. Hell, I about ran into that big concrete thing on a wheelie after the 60 foot out there, you know? Yeah, I know. I mean, you could get with it in the 60 foot, but yeah, I mean, after that, I mean, I I was literally going out like 1.3 seconds. I wasn't even spraying it. I was just running on motor. And at 1.3 seconds, I was lifting to like half throttle and then just trying to baby the gas pedal down the track. Just, you couldn't give it any power at all i mean it just was like being on a it was like being on a menards floor that had baby you know when they do that for them like sprint cars them little yeah. go-karts that's what it was like kind of i mean i think uh you know they always say this and i think there's truth to it too the, the people like watching cars wreck unfortunately you know what i mean and they wrecked a shit truckload of them that day uh i do think that 
Mike, and I'm sure Happy would agree too. I think one time's enough of that. You know what I mean? Get get a little bit of rubber down, and and uh, I think I'm sure his his race in March there will be awesome. I mean, that's going to be a cool play, a co- good place to race. I think, don't you? No, oh, yeah, yeah. They've already they've already started working on the surface and stuff, and doing the yeah. upgrade and stuff. So that's going to be going to be a good one. Uh, Happy says that uh, he still remember when you came down the streets and you ran his his damn trailer off in the ditch. <laughs> that was my trailer yeah he worked his it worked it worked for an hour to get him out yeah oh man yep. oh. they side swapped a car to two years ago was trailer going to cincy yeah god dang hey, you know what's funny about and he that? falls asleep in the camper on the way back from somewhere it goes <laughs> off in the ditch you, you know wild, what's man you wild you know what's funny about that side swipe I was making a right turn in to get gas and the, so that, you know, that would mean I'm like a, the, the passenger side, right? Yeah. The driver's side of the trailer clipped a car waiting in traffic out there. And you know, what's funny is I was looking in my mirror and I heard a tire pop, heard a tire blow. And I was looking right in the mirror. Cause you know how you watch your trailer to make sure it don't hit the curb. And I'm like, well, fuck, I didn't hit that tire. It wasn't mine. It was the car I side swiped tire. <laughs> Brennan said that was that's when I met Jeff that day when he hit the when he hit the trailer. Yeah, I was late. I was late. I was late getting to that race because of that whole deal. Oh, oh, Jeff being Jeff being late. I wouldn't I wouldn't think of that. I'm not you not all the time, but I'm just usually not the first person to roll into the race, you know. Yeah. And nine times out of ten, you're the last. Yeah. <laughs> Accurate. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I still remember when we went out to uh uh when you was putting all them flags and stuff up for uh, last year. Um I'm walking around in, you know, shorts and flip flops and they got they got chilly out there when y'all were putting that and I was like, I'm not walking around in that cold ass grass with flip flops on. So I just I just set my ass in the car. Mm-hmm. y'all were out there how many times y'all restake that y'all were driving stakes in and then pulling them out and then going back and forth back and i'm like that grass is hard in some places these, you can't get a stake at for some reason that's like these guys these guys you can tell they're racers because they can't figure out measurements <laughs> they're not chassis builders <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. You know, I, I'm I'm anxious to see the May race and see. Uh, to be honest with you, the the new event page is going to go up here pretty soon, and uh, I haven't really made my mind up 100 percent yet. I, I I need to. I've been thinking about. Well, I'm. It's going to be a little different format. You'll see that when it comes out, but uh, um, I think we're going to put a cap on the cars for sure probably at 64 cars and i think it'll fill no problem but uh um just been working on sponsorship and and uh there's going to be some cool stuff everybody will know this there will be a wall all the way down the right lane so you won't be able to go off in the woods on the right lane on the opposite side of the track the return side road side of the track there's going to be a big plateau. Or there's going to be a lot of room made over there for spectators on the opposite side of the return road. So like the VIP to... section that we were talking about? Mm-hmm. Yep. Because uh, I was talking about Billy. I said, man, you ought to just clear that stuff off and make that a VIP area and stuff like that and maybe put, some, old, put a, the, beer, the beer deal up there. And The old scoring tower is going to be a bar. That's going to be neat. I wonder where yep. he got that shit from. <laughs> Anyway, but I think, I think it'll, uh, I mean, I've had a, I, I, it's crazy. The amount of people that reach out that I've had reach out to me after the last race that haven't raced there yet. And are just like, I got to come to that race. You know, they see the YouTube videos. They, I say, you're right. I said, you you know, you do want to go to it. You know, I'd say this, I told all my buddies around here, Hey, you want to go out to Oklahoma and, and race that race one time. That's a, that's a good time awesome yeah. you know something you like you said you like that street in st louis there's just places that you want to be a part of it at least once you know and and uh-huh. uh 
that's why I like going new places. You know what I mean? Like, like I just, I shot you a text there a couple weeks ago, the, that, that, uh, that place, the gut down in Texas, I'll be, I'll be at that. I, that's, that's one of my bucket list ones, you know, that I want to go race at. So, um, yeah, you, you don't know why. I mean, I think there's a lot of guys that just race at their own select few tracks or races. I, I like to get out there and go to some different ones, you know? Yeah. Um, What's, uh, that's why, that's why I travel so much. Yeah. Believe it or not, I, I, I tell people all the time, you know, I, I, I know my days are numbered on this earth and I'm, I'm living it on my terms and I, I want to go out and see as much as I can while I still can. Yep. Don't put it off. You may never get a chance to do it. If you do, that's a fact. Uh Oh, Eric Mans. He, I think he says that he can't wait to race at the gut and he wants to call you out first round. <laughs> Is that, is that what that said? I think that's what it said. <laughs> me and Eric ain't calling me out. Uh, I don't know. He took out Brent Self this weekend. Yeah, this he made weekend. A, I was just going to tell you when you were saying they were flying down there. Actually, I was watching your live feed. And right when I turned it on, Eric was racing Brent Self. And I sent him a message right after that. I said, boy, that was a lick, son. You were, he was rolling. Yeah. Well, he's lucky that they didn't mismeasure that road because I think Brent Brent had probably 15, 20 miles an hour on him. Oh, I, that, I'm sure that's true, too. I know down there at Crossville, I mean, like Brent Self and uh, what's the other guy? Uh, oh, you know who I'm talking about, the Nova, Pro uh, Nova. Uh, Anthony, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, the uh, Hercules, Hercules. I mean, them guys had some serious mile per hour down there, yeah, wow. and them, uh, them supers from California, yeah, or was it supers or or dots or the 280Zs? Or I think yeah. it was 280Zs, yeah, 280Zs, yeah, 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 because I was down there, uh, because BJ was like, I was down there, uh, helping getting the live feed, trying to work on the live feed or the pay per view, whatever you want to call it, people. Yeah. we won't go we won't go in that we won't go in that that area but when they went by me when i was down there they were rolling and, oh, I, and yeah. i've been i've been on the big end before people with it doesn't it doesn't phase me one bit uh but when they went by me it it kind of startled me for a second because they were both of them were rolling and i think that was like a, a fender yeah difference between the two but them, them guys are rolling yeah um uh, but uh, you put on one of the epic events uh, twice a year, and people people take notice of that. Uh, not only is it the atmosphere out there that that does it, but it's it's your your uh, the way you do things down there, and uh, people people notice that. Have you got offered to do anything uh, else at other other places, or have you even th- thought about it? Uh, yeah, a little bit, but I don't know. I mean, I really would like to put on a big, one big race somewhere when I find the right venue to do it. I'd like to do that. You know, I mean, I know that's already happening, you know, with the quarter million or a hundred thousand here or there, but, um, you know, if I'd real, I'll tell you what I'd really like to do. I'd like to do something real similar to what Oklahoma has, except for it be a minimum hundred thousand dollar payout. Yeah, on City Street, you know, yeah. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, kind yeah. of been working on a little something with that with a little town here in Indiana. So, um, I mean, I if if it if it comes to fruition, we'll we'll let the cat out of the bag and and have a have a big one. But right now, it's really just war in the woods, and you know, just try to. Hey, I it's it's pretty rewarding having a race and everybody having that much fun. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I really don't get hardly any negative feedback from down there. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, need to keep the people back, your standard stuff. But I mean, most people, when that race is over, they just can't wait for the next one, you know? Yeah, I know. That, and that's awesome when it's like that, you know? I mean, uh, just like uh, Happy's race down there, you know, if you can, you can keep that momentum rolling like that, you, you, you know, 
when the people are asking you when the next event is, as soon as that one's over with, you're doing something right. You know, facts, facts, man. It was a, it was a good time. Are you going to be doing uh, the two day event again? This yep. Year? Yep. But we're going to change the, we're going to change that up a little bit. Um, we're going to start a little earlier on Friday night and, uh, um, hit some strip clubs after that. Yeah, maybe. Shoot, if we may have get... to have a little shootout on the street down there in Brown County somewhere. Yeah, if you don't have COVID, if you don't get COVID again. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you ain't gonna let me live that down. I'll tell you what, man. We were at this strip club and the poles didn't go to the ceiling, and them girls were all the way at the top of that thing. And I and I'm looking up and and Happy's got his foot on the stage and there's twirling and you can see the stage just going back and forth and then she did the slide down and stuff like that and stop before she get there and i'm like happy thought the stage was gonna fall over <laughs> damn but i like as i've as i said if i if i had faith in street racers showing up as them girls did in that pole then we would have no problem finding people to street race truth because people's gangster until it's time to be gangster you, you're right there but we know you, we know you gangster. Well, I'm not smart. That's part of the problem. That's what I kept saying. Like, you know, when we was in North Carolina and the police came, I was over there and my brother and my sister are like, you better just put that car in the trailer. You better put that car in the trailer. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. And then they're like, hey, they're going to run it. I right, get the car in the trailer. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like, you just can't fix stupid, you know? Yeah, but, them, uh, uh, does have you heard anything on that yet or is it yeah over my attorney just called me on monday so they yeah they're be, they're being jackasses about it i gotta go i gotta go to columbus ohio the 24th of january for it's probably going to trial for you sitting in the streets yeah yep they've agreed to part of it what the problem is this they 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 uh you know obviously Trey Styles is not registered or plated, it doesn't have insurance. And that's what the big hang up is with them. So it's a race car, it's not a street car. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. But hopefully that'll be resolved come the twenty fourth. Yeah. Uh, probably cost me another couple thousand bucks or something. He said he never even loaded up. <laughs> hey, when you have pending charges in another state, you load your shit up. Fact. And because you you went you just had something before that too, didn't you? Yeah, Detroit in Detroit, Michigan, they got me there too. Yeah. Wow, you got some like shit a, luck. Like a magnet, a cop magnet or something. You have some shit luck. You, you tear trailers up. You get caught street racing. You run yeah. into people. Well, hopefully it gets a little better. Well, yeah, it's twenty. It's twenty twenty two now, so it's good. Yeah. It's new year, new you. There you go. That's right. That sounds good, doesn't it? That sounds good yeah, on paper. Right. Sounds good on paper. <laughs> uh -oh. So you guys, you guys uh, still street racing down there in Texas? Oh yeah, man. It's it's beautiful weather here, man. It's like it's like fifty degrees right now. Perfect time to be racing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh. So you you texted me back today that you were driving through a snowstorm. Well, it really wasn't even a uh, snowstorm. That was yeah. the wind was so bad it was it was blowing all blowing the snow snow all across the interstate. Yeah. Uh oh, Happy says never hitch a ride with the Jeff with the streets. <laughs> uh, hey, when, when we come down there for that race at the gut, you need to get something lined up on the street. Make that long trip worth it. Oh yeah, we'll get something lined up for you. Perfect. We'll get something lined up. Of course, of course, when you, when you run at the gut, it's like, well, you've been to the pad, right? Yeah. It, it, it's basically the pad, but at a track form there. Oh, really? Yeah. It's basically the same thing. That's why I told Tiana that she needs to go. Cause she loves the gut. Mm -hmm. The the girl that I had on last week, she's the Willie queen and you're the Willie yeah. king. Yeah. Um, uh, uh she needs to go out there just to experience that because she loves the gut and she they go out there um uh, at least once a week they're from california and then they moved here but okay. uh uh she loves it out there i mean she does like two or three hundred foot wheelies out the gut 
So they, they race at the gut all the time. Uh, Thursdays and Sundays. Damn. Yeah. And they get a pretty good turnout all the time or. Oh yeah. That's, that's hood country out there. Oh, okay. That, that, that's hood rat track. That's the oldest, oldest, uh, um, that's the oldest outlaw drag strip in Texas. It's been around since the, uh, fifties. Damn. You probably see some wild shit there, huh? Oh yeah. I did see, uh, uh, the way they have shit set up, uh, the spectators are, are, are close to the, uh, the deal. And if people were betting and stuff and they got the other lane, they'll, they'll throw water out on the track in the lanes. Yeah. That, how fucked up is fucked up. That's fucked up. That's pretty fucked up. Yeah. Guy's real serious about trying to win his bet, huh? Yeah. When his, when his $5 bet or $20 bet. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. We'll have that. Hopefully we'll have under that, all that under control. We've already, we've already been discussing all kinds of stuff about that. So as you know, putting on an event, you've got to have all your basics covered or at least have thoughts about it. Hey, you know, who was it? I just seen, uh, oh, they just had that little race out there in Maryland or whatever the, that Kyle Bestwick, that kid that put it on. I seen him and he's like, the most exhausting thing I've ever done in my life was try to put this race on. You know, people don't really get how much. Yeah, it is. It is a, <laughs> it's a draining experience. The oh, only yeah. thing I can say that's good about it, because I had, you know, I used to put motorcycle races on. The good thing about it is if you do it right, it always gets easier. Every, every time it gets a little bit easier and you're more organized and more prepared, you foresee things that are going to be a problem. That's what I always say. Like when I talk with Billy, I'm like, you know, I can see us running into a problem where we've got spectators that can't see the race. You know yeah. what I mean? That's a problem. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, spectators that got to wait an hour and a half for a hot dog. That's a problem. You know what I mean? These are all not good parts of the business model for this. You know what I mean? So you always mm-hmm. try to, you always try to look Plan at ahead and change that shit. So it's not a problem. You know, uh, I'll tell you, putting on them races is not for everybody for sure. You know I mean? It's a, it can, like you just said earlier, like the stupid beer cups, you know what I mean? You know, some stupid thing like a three cent plastic cup can cause a disaster. You know, I mean, yeah, we were, we were driving all over Indy trying to find cups, (laughs) you and your your sister and yeah, everybody. Yeah. Now, Uh, are you on the light at the, that race at the gut? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. The, uh, um, speaking of uh, putting races on, you know, I, I've, I've known to put on a few races on the, on the streets, yep. allegedly, allegedly back in the day. Yeah. And, uh, I've always said, if, if you do an event and you don't learn anything, get out of it because, because you, you're not acceptive, ad- adaptive to learning Yeah. because every, everything, every, every event you do, you'll learn something new every time. Oh, you're right. I agree a hundred percent because everything's a learning curve because people, people try to press that envelope of, of gray areas on shit. Yep. It's like, it's like, I got 29. That's a small tire. <laughs> just, just saying, you know, what about a 28, 10, five W? Well, that's yeah. smaller than a 29, five. You know what I wish, Limpy? I know this has been going around. I've seen you guys on the live feeds. I'm not going to go into a big thing about it, but man, you know, I'm a I'm a big racer. I'm a big fan of racing. I want to see the sport thrive, you know, and and one way that it would help do that is for the rules to be all on the same page, which I know is probably not realistic that it's going to happen, right? But think about how much better it would be if it did. And then the, the next thing I'll say is this, you know, like you know, people love the event I put on. I'm thankful for that. We put a lot of work into it. I, 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 I expect that, you know what I mean? I expect it to have good results because we work at it. You know what I mean? You know, unfortunately, and I'm not singling any place out or saying any names or nothing like that. There's a lot of races that are basically like a hat race. Everybody throw your hundred bucks in. Let's race. You know what I mean? There's no money, no added money to the purse. There's no sponsors. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, in all honesty, in the promoting world, no prep. It, it don't take a lot to shine because there's a lot of people not putting much effort into it. 
No, on. no. I mean, and, some and people I, may not like me saying that, but it's just the truth. Yeah. I mean, there, there's events that I've seen that, that they've had almost, they've had over a hundred car shows up and they pay out less than what happy paid out with 36 cars. Yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. I mean, oh. I mean, I mean, it's not going to be like that every time there, but, but I mean, they're making money. Yeah. I mean, they're making money hand over fist with, with spectators and, 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 uh, vendors and stuff. Throw a little extra into the pot. Make yeah. it, I mean, make something that's yeah. like when we do street racing, uh, at least I do it, uh, uh, spectator money. We always try to get spectator money and, uh, here and other places we go to, we have spotters and, um, we put that on top of a buy-in and take a little bit out of the, of the buy-in to the spotters. And then, but we try to take spectator money and add to the top. Yeah. Yeah. Cause so. they're important to get in the race. off. <laughs> yeah. So, so if you, if you, I know, I know street racing isn't as big as the, the track events and stuff, but you got to think about, you got to think about the people that, that come out and, and help you to help them. Oh yeah. Well, you know, another thing too, like you said, huh, is, uh, all these track events. One thing that I feel like a lot of the promoters don't see is these tracks need to make some money. They got to keep the gates open or you don't mm -hmm. have a place to race. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I, I, the promoters need to work, need to work at promoting their event, getting asses in the seats and money coming through that gate. Let these track owners make some money and stay in business. So, you know, tracks are going for sale everywhere. Oh yeah. Yeah. Or just shutting down or just shutting down, you know, I mean, and, and, uh, I mean, it'd be great if we could just always race on the streets, but man, you, I mean, I know, I know you guys got it going down there good, but like up here in, in the area, man, it's hard. You just too many popo. You know? Yeah, I was out there with the uh, with the dude that you were looking down. Uh, yeah, Avery. Um, and, it, and yeah, and uh, uh, we went out to one road out there. It wasn't that bad, but we did have to move, and then we went to another spot. Yeah, and the cops ended up showing there up there. But I mean, it's 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 street racing, so it's sometimes like you're the, yeah. it's sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield. Yep, you're right. You know. Yep. And what people don't understand uh, is spotters where we got spotters or security. I call I like call them security, but uh, security is there to make sure you're not uh, busted in the act. At least that's what I, I foreseen security back 20 years ago is they're not there to let you get away scot-free, you know, you yeah. know, uh, but they're there for, so you don't get caught in the act. You could be loaded on the trailer. I mean, you might get, or, off the road uh but they're not they're not there for you to be scot-free and stuff yeah yeah uh so you doing war in the woods um uh, i know uh i know uh somebody was asking about the wall oh yeah is it gonna be the same or will there be a wall at the end uh, i think you went over that didn't you, you said the the right side will have a wall all the way yep. down yep man um so how hard is it doing it uh by yourself now since uh uh melinda's not there anymore I yeah know. i mean that that sucked because john you know like me and john basically split the duties you know what i'm saying like for example john handled a lot, all the sponsorship stuff so yeah. like when i went to do that first one that was a real pain and and John was really good at that, probably a lot better at it than I am. But, you yeah. know, I have to just, you just like anything else, you just got to go do it, you know. Um, I mean, I get a lot of help from my sister, my, you know, John Molina's yeah. wife, Christine, helped a yeah. lot. You know, you were, you were around my, yeah. my but some of my buddies. And, but I mean, I've done that. I, I actually have quite a bit of experience at it. So I, I was pretty, I was pretty prepared. You know, you, I, I, I know when you were here, I'm sure you heard me say, I'm always worried that there's like something big. I forgot, you know what I mean? That like a problem that you can't fix, you know what I'm saying? That's what w always worries me. But, uh, like well, when I, we didn't get it right. Uh, did we miss account on scaffolding? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we missed we missed one. Yeah. <laughs> but, we could have yeah, used that one for a ramp to just uh, for the handicap deal. You could just that'd that's be true. Steep. That'd be kind of a steep handicap deal. But, anyway. but it's it's a. Uh, I mean, it's stressful, but it's all worth it once you got, you know, <clears throat> like I said, man, for, when you're standing on that starting line down there Saturday night and the national anthem plays, you know, it is fixing to get rowdy. I mean, you can, you can cut the tension in the air. I don't, I, it's, I mean, I, there's some, like I said, I gave mad props to Digger Die. I thought he did a really good job putting that event on, but it ain't like standing on the starting line at Warden Woods. I'm going to tell you, it's just not, you know, uh, yeah. There's a bit, there's a lot of good there's there's a lot of good races. It's just uh like you said, I mean that I mean some of these, you know, you don't want to go into that, but like, you know, you don't have to have a college degree in math to see what's going on with the purse either. You know what I mean? Like you you know, like at War in the Woods, I mean I'm still working on getting more sponsors, but every penny of sponsorship money we get goes into the purse. Yeah. No, that you know that's that's all gone right off the top so you know i mean that that helps and obviously the other thing is if you want to get top-notch racers there to put on a top-notch show you need to have a good purse you know yeah i mean that's what that's what we've always uh if you if you if you think about the drivers versus your pocketbook because you know everybody's just day and age everybody's want to want to put want to pad their pocket a little bit but you've got you've got to uh think about the driver's first and and if you they realize that then they'll they'll be back oh yeah yeah hey back. those guys that raced at war in the woods I, let me let me tell you this they're like they told me right to my face i got no chance of going any rounds at this race and then after they they came to race when they got put out first round they're like that was the best 300 bucks i ever spent <laughs> for first you know they they were they were thrilled they were so happy they did it you know what i mean so um, and then you do the porta pot race too so yeah which i think you know we start we did that since the very first war in the woods probably one of the mm. first events that did that you know yeah. uh and i think i think that that was actually john molina's idea and yeah. uh, that was a brilliant idea because you know, if you do pay the 300 bucks to come, which, you know, you already know you're going to hear, there's guys out there that don't even want to pay $300 buy-in. But if you know there's a second chance race for a hundred bucks, you're guaranteed to get two hits. I mean, it's kind of worth, I'd say it's worth it, you know? Yeah. And, and people, 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 uh, people got, uh, that, that track has got people, uh, interested in no prep just because how oh. some people, some people will look at it and say, Oh man, I ain't, I ain't running down that road or, or that track, blah, blah, blah. What kind of, I think Megan posted on it today about, uh, uh, somebody about not knowing how to drive or whatever and this and that and the other, but it, that track will make a man out of you. Quick. you. You said it the best. I remember when we were down at the race, you like, you said they better clank if you're coming to race here. Like if you're go if you go there and you're you're gonna win, hey, like Mork, you know Mork 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 lets them hang. Them, he, you know, you gotta to go that fast down that track. You're dry. You gotta you gotta have a set on you. Period. You know, some guys won't do that. I mean, you know, there's been guys that came down there. I'm not gonna name names again. With crazy fast car, by the way. And told me after the race, man, awesome race, Jeff. But this just ain't for me. Yeah, I, I mean, brother, brother, I understand. I, I ain't hating on you. I get it. You know. Yeah. You know, you got a hundred fifty thousand dollar car there. You don't want to wreck it. But I also am a firm believer in this, and I say it at every race. You know, hey, you guys know what you're fixing to get into here. Let your decision making reflect the consequences. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know. Facts. You get out of shape down there and you're going to go into the grass in September when the grass is soaking wet, you're, you're going to be, you're going to go wherever that car takes you, you know? Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, you really do have to, and that's hard to do when, like you said, when you're competitive and there's a lot of money to win and you're in a close race that close to the finish line, because that's the only time there's ever problems is down there past 500 foot, you know? Yeah. Um, but, and you, you know, you hate it like, Jasper, awesome guy, destroyed his car. 
you know, I mean, Preston dirty, destroyed a car down there. I mean, dirty Brown. Dirty Brown, one of my good buddies, you know what I mean? You know, he loved that car, and uh, he's rebuilding it. He's building a new one right now, though. I talk to him all the time. He'll be back out there. I don't know if he'll be back down to Brown County, but he'll be uh, he'll be back out there. Yeah, it, it's sickening to see that happen, buddy. Trust me. Nobody dislikes it more than I do. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, even I, at uh, even at at uh, Kentucky, I was out there for about half a first round, and I was going to film. I was going to film the whole thing because I knew there was going to be. I, I knew there was and hella wrecks. Yeah, and after after uh, it was pretty much. Uh, I got tired of seeing it. I got, I, I don't know how much people got in their cars and stuff like that. So I just went down to happy's trailer and sat by the fire pit or no, it was a, uh, it was after first round. I think everybody pretty good much got it. Cause there wasn't much wrecks after that. So I, yeah. I thought that maybe I was the, uh, I'm superstitious. So I was like, well, since I come down here, didn't uh, not very many people wrecked after that. So maybe, maybe it was me being there that, <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Hey, I was glad I was a late draw there because, you know, I watched and I, I think, I think that helped a lot. You know, the more cars that couldn't go down that track, the the more you knew how slow you really needed to go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got a question here and I know you're an engine builder too. Not only do shocks, but you do engine and stuff, but yep. uh, uh, Paul G said he, he, Bought an engine, been balanced. I took it apart, and wrist pins were smaller, so he bought upgraded wrist pins. Does he need to rebalance it? If they're way heavier wall and way more, yeah. Yep. You there have you to go. weigh the new wrist pins compared to the old wrist pins. There you go, Paul. There you go. Because you, you, you do uh, engines as well, not only shocks, but you do engines as well. You do, you're a man of everything. Yeah, I mess around with a little bit of stuff here and there. <laughs> we try to we try to do almost everything ourselves. So, but you know the the shock thing has really taken off, and I'm super appreciative. And a lot of good guys out, a lot of guys getting good results. And I mean, and, hey, there's other ones. You know, the other companies, Afterworks, and them they I'm they have they're kicking ass too. And hey, more power to them. I want to see everybody do good. You know what I mean? I don't got a negative thing to say about anybody. Just I just, uh, you know, try to give guys some some really good customer service and help them and get them set up with what they need to to get out there and and uh, it's done way better than I expected. So I, I I'm real grateful for that. Yeah, because when you went to, uh, I didn't know that you were a dual citizen. You had dual citizenship for you had India and you lived in New York too. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Cause you're racing with them. Uh, the guy that likes midget strippers, Dave. And oh them. yeah. I know who he is. <clears throat> uh, but, uh, they made y'all have an ID and everything for that shit. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. That was, that was a pretty good, uh, concept. I don't know. Maybe the atmosphere, maybe the track was a little, or the airport was a little. Lopsided. Yeah. Uh, but the, the concept on that was pretty good. I liked it. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Something different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do think I will say this, not, and I'm not saying this because we lost and didn't get paid, even though it'll sound like that. It was straight bullshit. How they ran that final race. You know what I mean? The, the one way out there was any team could say, well, we got two broke cars. So we're going to, you know what? You get what I'm saying. I mean, if you've got, one team that's got Bobby parks and he gets to make three hits and one round of racing. Come on, man. You know, I'm like, like, I'm like this. And if, if you got the way I would have did, if you have two broke cars and that that's two losses on your side. Yep. Or I, I would have done it. I agree with that. I agree. I would have been fine with that too. But you know what I said? If they got three broke cars and they're going to run, any car more than once the other team gets the option to do that too to me that's common sense yeah. you know they're going to put their fastest car up but if you you know at least let the other team do the same thing right yeah i mean that's almost like saying that 
you're going to let one team run 29 fives and the other one 28s. You know what I mean? Like that, that just didn't make any sense, but I, I'm like you, I think that the, uh, what do you want to call that? The format of that race was actually pretty cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's why I said it. it's, a, it's a cool event. I mean, it, it was, it was, it was his first deal of doing stuff. So as we all know, as uh, promoters and doing stuff, it's only going to get better from here on out. So, yeah. So he learned, I think he learned from that and he'll be, uh, he'll be doing some different stuff or adapting, I guess is the word that I'm looking for. He's going to adapt and, and learn. Yeah. Are you, do you know, are they planning on having that event again? I'm not, I haven't talked to him this year. To to be honest. No, no, I haven't. We're, we're just in, uh, we're just in the fifth day of the new year. Yeah. I hear you already. No, I, I had fun out there at that though. That was a good time. Yeah. Um, uh, so, um, oh, God, they already been, uh, do you got anything, uh, you want to add? Hey, I'll see everybody at war in the woods. Do you got any, uh, people sponsors or people you want to give a shout out to? Yeah. Uh, Pete over at Hughes, uh, obviously he's helped. Seems like everybody out. Uh, Automotion Race Cars, which you went to, and Tulane Performance. My buddy Bill Carter, he's awesome. Uh, Innovative Molden Machine, big machine shop here in Indy. Uh, which, by the way, that that's kind of cool. Not that anybody cares, but I, I probably will. You probably will see me running a few big tire events in another car this year too. Cool. So uh, they make big tire cars. They they still race big tire cars. Yeah, yeah. Or, or are you talking about? 29. No, a real, a real big tire car. Oh yeah. They still race them. Well, at a few of these races. Wow. I don't believe but, it. Well, my buddy that owns innovative machine has one and he's like, why don't we get that thing out? And I said, yeah, sure. So, uh, who else is there? Uh, uh, Brown's oil service, uh, Sunoco race fuels, uh, wise Co pistons. That's about it for me. What about your business itself? Oh, I guess you could say that one. Thomas Racing Service. There you go. If you need some long travel, give me a holler. Are you still doing much engines? Oh, yeah. We we probably got uh, four in there going together right now. Yep. So, uh, I mean, we don't, you know, I don't, I don't do that like full time. I've, I've always done that. You know what I mean? Like I, I flip a lot, buy a lot of stuff, and then... Um, yeah, I mean, we get, you know, a little bit of everything. Did a yeah. pro-charged LS motor for a guy, you know, street motors. Just did a 632 big block EFI deal for a guy. So, yeah, we just do, do a little bit of all that. And, and uh, um, I mean, I like, that's what I grew up really, you know, when I had the machine shop business. I, I like building motors. and But besides that, we just staying busy working and the shocks are keeping me busy and and doing upgrades over the winter on the Mustang and trying to get the, uh, trying to get furious back out there. That's my, my goal is to have that at a street race this summer. So. Yeah. And that, and that extra horsepower. That's one horsepower there. Yeah. That's all you need. What's one more horsepower. <laughs> yeah. As a, uh, Oh, Jasper says, uh, you're heading for the street outlaws now with the big tire stuff, huh? No, no. Heck no. I ain't about that life. Oh, amen, brother. Uh, well, appreciate you coming on and appreciate you uh, enduring enduring that. It was fun, though. It was fun. Yeah. And, and it's hard to believe that, that you and I are so much alike and we live. I, who'd have thunk it, right? Yeah, I mean, us good-looking guys. Hey, I appreciate you showing that baby picture of me. You want to see it again? <laughs> Boy, that cute little son of a bitch, isn't he? Yeah, look at the ears ain't changed. How has he gotten so ugly? You want me to tell you the truth or you want me to lie to you? Nah, I don't even want to hear it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, All right. thanks, Limpy. Good talking to you. Buddy. All right. uh, I'll be in touch. I right. appreciate you coming on, man. All right. See you guys. All right. Later. So, appreciate Jeff coming on there the Willie King and I misspoke, uh, on yesterday's weekend recap. 
I said that uh, Wichita Falls, uh, the park after dark, would be April 21st. But I misread. It's going to be May 21st. So, uh, got uh, the track, Gonzo and them uh, working on that uh, flyer and stuff. Uh, we'll be back there for the, I can't remember if it's, the, I think it's fourth, park after dark, four. Fourth, the fourth one we've done out there. Uh, it's a good time, good track, front end of the track, uh, flashlight start. Uh, we started probably outside of the past the uh, starting line, so and they scraped the track and stuff and all that good stuff. But uh, it's pretty good water burnout stuff. Uh, I think we did what? Yeah, we did water burnout. I can't remember. I think it's water burnout. But uh, yeah, good good time. Jeff's Jeff's good people, man. Jeff, he's 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 good people. Uh, even though he he uh, he uh, he ditches us uh, when we're up there in his neighborhood for PRI to get COVID, so he can't go to the the strip clubs with us. But uh, it's good good time. We'll go ahead and uh, get some. Uh, uh, we got Happy's race. We're gonna be at. We got Capital City. Oh, wait, that's uh, the gut. Where did the Capital City go? There it is. Capital City, March 12th, uh, Montgomery, Alabama, uh, as the uh, uh, Leachfield, Kentucky, there for uh, Cash Days 2.0, uh, Kentucky Cash Days. Uh, the gut and uh, I've got the other. Uh, we'll be at, uh, there's another race up there. Uh, cars and chaos is doing sketchy track sketchy track cars and chaos end of july uh it, basically same format as war in the woods same same setup grass uh center uh it's it's sketchy it, at least from the videos that i've seen it's sketchy and the you, you don't uh want to miss that because it's oh oh boy you don't want to miss that i'm deleting pictures and stuff here but uh it's it's uh it's sketchy like uh brown county uh but we'll be there end of july i've i've saved the uh i saved the flyer but uh for some reason i haven't uploaded it or i didn't i thought i uploaded it but i guess it didn't see what happens when you get old people it sucks it sucks when you get old but uh appreciate uh everybody that that did the stars uh stars and supers on this as well uh you can do uh let's see here cash app uh is a li uh, dollar sign limpy 817 the paypal is uh, limpy d77 at gmail.com you want to do donations as well we appreciate it all um so fuck mark we out